founder of Make Magazine and Maker Fair, and I'm here for the first time in Newcastle to see the uh, Maker Fair UK at the Newcastle Science Centre. I feel like in Disneyland, you know, like running from one place to another. It's so like enchanting. It's really like full of creativity and full of spread. No, it was a family experience. There was things for everyone to do. Uh, baby Tesla here was playing with things. My son Riley was playing with things. Maker Fair uh, started in 2006 in, in California in the San Francisco Bay Area. And it really grew out of the magazine of, of uh, a chance to bring people together who make different things and to share their projects, talk about how they make things. And the idea was to encourage other people and really invite them to become makers. Maker Fair for, for the Centre for Life has a really serious underlying purpose and that is it's part of the way in which we get young people switched on to science and switched on to technology and there's no better way of doing it than through a, you know, a festival atmosphere. It's very, um, very carnival-like and full of fun and music and noise. So the Maker Fair isn't just education, it's not just learning why something is made that way, it's learning how to do it. So it's not just teaching somebody, it's making them do it. So the soldering workshops are brilliant, you know, making something that you can take away at all these different workshops around the uh, Maker Fair. Pi was originally designed as an aid to help teaching uh, kids to cook, basically. Uh, you know, set up by Evan Upton, who wanted to make sure that we have more people applying for computer science. One of the great things about this is that in producing a cheap computer for kids, we've also given this gift to makers in the fact that now they also can get their hands on a cheap computer with lots of documentation and lots of features. And we've really seen people exploit that here today and it's been awesome. It's exploring, it's discovery, it's but more importantly, you're meeting people that do something that they're proud to do and proud to tell you about. It encourages others to say, well, I want to be that kind of person. I want those kind of projects. And I have my own ideas. It's so nice, like even not knowing anything, you can just walk around and be amazed by everything that's happening. And I really, I don't know, I, uh, it gives you so much idea of stuff you could do yourself.